so Warren Gunnels um, says, you know, hashtag Medicare for all would have saved over 338,000 lives during the pandemic. Normalize that. So this is like a very unremarkable instance of what you would expect Warren Gunnels to, uh, to be tweeting all the time as sort of a basic like Medicare for all is really important and we should fight for it. Uh, this is this is like exactly uh, exactly what you'd think he'd be tweeting, and then uh, in uh, in response to this, here I've got the second one. Uh, we have James Dore who uh, who responds as follows: Jimmy says, "Imagine if Bernie actually gave enough of a shit about this to actually use his leverage to implement it." What a disappointing cuck. So, again, you know, we said we want to get, get away from talking about people who think all politics is about the quality of what's going on in your soul and don't understand structural analysis <laughs> and instead talk about this. So, apropos uh, of nothing. Apropos of nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, pretty, uh, if Bernie Sanders wanted to, I mean, maybe this is an uncharitable reading. Maybe you guys can help me out here. If Bernie Sanders wanted to, he could will Medicare for all into being. But he doesn't want to because he's a cuck. And that's why we don't have Medicare for all. I mean, this is honestly, um, and I got to go back here, you know, and, and, and talk a little bit about myself. I apologize, I apologize if that's self-indulgent. Um, but, you know, when when uh, when Michael rose uh, to his uh, Brooks, uh, rose to his uh, fame in the way that he did and his talent shown through, you know, as a fellow podcaster, you know, who who was close with him intellectually, uh, sort of think thought to myself, thank God. First of all, thank God there's somebody out here who's like way more fucking talented than me uh, who can carry this torch. Uh, and he would go at door uh, regularly, of course, following his uh, his his old boss, Sam Cedar. Uh, and, and I thought that was an amazing sort of a counter leverage to this kind of voluntaristic as someone raised a, a shit that you see here. Uh, apropos of nothing, of course, and not, had nothing to do with what we're talking about, with Peterson. Uh, but, you know, and, 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 and then, and then, you know, of course, uh, Michael passes and, and I sort of leave the podcast sphere and. And, and that, and you know, and that you see a lot of this, you see this and you see, and, and again, uh, Brianna Joy Gray, who is okay sometimes, but very much team Jimmy here, uh, very much team mm -hmm. Jimmy and Brianna and I have been sparring since she and I both sort of rose to any kind of notoriety. Of course, her, she, she rising way higher than I ever did. Uh, but it's this voluntaristic nonsense about the sort of, uh, uh, uh political, uh, you know, um, integrity of individuals without any awareness of their power and systemic capabilities inside the system. And don't get me wrong. I mean, do I like Bernie, you know, talking about, you know, Joe, this and pat him on the back and he's doing a fine job. No, you don't love it, but, but let's I mean, what leverage Let's be honest with ourselves. What leverage does Bernie have right now, Ben? This is what shocks me about this tweet. Well, that, well, this, that's the amazing thing about this tweet, right? Because it's like I had, uh, I think I, I uh, quote tweeted this. And I just, it was a very mild quote tweet. I think I said like, I'm just fascinated by how Jimmy thinks any of this works. Um, and there were like angry Jimmy Dore fans and the re reply is being like, oh, so I suppose you think everything is fine. And, you know, we could just count on the process to work. It's like, I don't think I said that, right? Like, I think I said, like, I, I don't think I even implied that. I think what I implied is that, like, this just doesn't make sense. This is not how any of this works, you know, that uh, that you, you can't, um, like, Bernie Sanders is a U.S. editor, but uh, there are also 99 of other U.S. editors, and the majority of them do not support Medicare for all. So what, what's the scenario here? Like, like spell it the out. The majority of them inside of his own party in his own. Caucus. Yeah, the majority, exactly. Uh, yeah, the majority. Uh, and, 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 you know, and, and so I, I, what's the mechanism and Twitter, unfortunately is a platform that, that is just absolutely uh, uh, right for this stuff. And I'm not sure we can win this on the Twitter left. Uh, the, the medium is the message. As a, no, I think there's a lot of when I said at one point. Yeah, yeah, um, it's Marshall McLeod. I've got him right here. He can, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's uh, yeah, as Woody Allen joke. But anyway, uh, that's yeah, yeah. Uh, very problematic now. Uh, so uh, <laughs> cancel, so, yeah. cancel, 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 cancel. <laughs> like, yeah, that's. Um, 
like given that most of the Democratic caucus and all of the Republican caucus is opposed to Medicare for all, right? Like the idea that what, like uh, Bernie Sanders is going to somehow use some parliamentary trick and he'll like hold something else up and they'd be like, oh shit, I guess now we have to do Medicare for all. One weird trick to <laughs> implement Medicare for all. <laughs> Senators like the, hate him. <laughs> <laughs> like, even if Bernie Sanders were president of the United States, as he would be at a slightly less hellish timeline, right? Like, that doesn't mean we would just get Medicare for all right away, right? I mean, like, that, that's, uh, like, that there would be enormous resistance from vested interest to that. And, um, you know, and all of, all of, you know, there are some, like, really severe obstacles. It'd still be an uphill struggle. It would just be, you know, you'd, Obviously, you'd have the presidential bully pulpit and various advantages and you know things you could you know work with while you were organizing that, but like that still that still doesn't mean it would just automatically happen. Never mind is one senator, right? Out of out of a hundred. Like these guys are the these guys are the political equivalent of those like uh NBA fan, NBA Twitter fans who just put la <laughs> in front of everything every time they want to own LeBron. Like, <laughs> oh, look at LeBrick over here missing all his shots. Oh, look at Le Goat, you know, uh, look at uh, uh Le Cuck over here, can't even win a championship, doesn't come close to MJ. Like, it's just this like fast facile, just yeah. If it, look, look, if I if I were LeBron, I would have won that game. Oh, of course. Absolutely. I haven't gotten off the couch or touched my toes in 20 years, but, <laughs> but, but let choke, but let choke over here. Gee, give me a fucking break. Uh, like, yeah. Like, uh, it's like, just it's like idiot. It's idiots. I mean, Medicare for all would not pass the house right now. It actually go down like, um, by a really wide margin in the house right now. And if you've paid any attention to anything that's happened in politics in the last two years, right. You know, that a lot of, you know, relatively progressive legislation passes the House and goes nowhere in the Senate, you know, um, like grading on a curve. I'm not talking about Medicare for all here, right? You know, like, um, and so the idea that Bernie Sanders, you know, like, yeah, if, if he just, if he just understood, right? You know, like, he if, only if he understood, if he only just tried, harder, if he really right? cared enough, like deep in his heart, if he just, Felt like, like feelings like our friend uh Freddie DeBoer. If they just if he just like opened up his chest and did the care bear stare in the right direction in the right way, uh, he could really get this M for A thing uh, implemented. And I want to just want to say, I, I just can we just not disparage cucks? It's 2022. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Is it uh, 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 Brandon? Brandon, listen, Ben, 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 Brandon, yes. Uh, just because I like to see my wife, Jane, bent over the side of a pool table in my second home in the rural Vermont <laughs> does not mean that I don't fight for Medicare for all. I just want to let me be clear. Yeah. No, there's this. What is Bernie, wanna, what is Bernie enjoying the sight of his wife getting railed by another man have to do with uh, the fact that he doesn't want no, to implement? I, I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that you're, I'm you're here to defend. Is this a family show, Ben? I've had a few defend. years. I just want to be clear. I'm, I'm glad that you're here to defend the honor of the common cuck. Uh, but <laughs> uh, that's but like this is just this is just incredible. It's like, look, the phrase Medicare for all would not be in Jimmy Dore's vocabulary, if not for Bernie Sanders. 100%. Right? He'd be a dick joke telling comedian, which by the way, I happen to enjoy the dick jokes quite a bit if they're told in the right way. Uh, I'm sure you can tell from my previous bit, but, uh, but yeah, I, he, none of this would be anything. And, and yet like, it's not to say that it's not a contradictory thing. I just want to know, like, again, and I hate to say this, Jesus, I'm sorry, Ben, for getting you in my yeah. on this again, but the, 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 the force the vote stuff. Uh, yeah. uh, I just want to know what is their theory of power? What is the theory of power? And I think well, you know this, this is, is you know why, why where the polit the absence of political economy come full circle to the nerd shit after defending cuckery here. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> this is what, yeah uh, no, no no we we all acknowledge get you a man that can do both defensive uh, but, defensive cuckery, but like the uh, yeah. but yeah I I mean this is the incredible thing. I mean you mentioned Brianna Joy Gray, uh, she wrote a article for Current Affairs um, in support of of uh, a force the vote. Where she said, well, people say it wouldn't do anything uh, correctly. You know, people say it wouldn't do anything. But look, you know, that that's just like, you know, it, it would if you did it right. And I swear to God, I'm not making this up. One of her arguments was, well, 
if you combined it with a general strike and it's like, yeah. And if you combined it with like aliens landing <laughs> on, the, on the roof of the you know Capitol building while the vote was happening, right. Then God knows what could happen. But unfortunately right now we don't have an organized working class. We have a 6.7% rate of private sector unionization. So I don't know where this general strike that she wrote this article in December, this vote that they were supposed to force would have been like, by not, you know, like when Pelosi was being renominated speaker or whatever, the next month, right? So we're going to go from 6.7% unionization to, to a national general strike in a month. Yeah, I don't I don't take the theory of power very seriously. Um, and and listen, like most, most uh, teenagers in America today uh, want to be a, a TikTok influencer. Uh, and, 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 and yet I'm a socialist and I'll die one and I fight fiercely for the ideals and the belief that deep down people really are on our side, but to just to imagine that the, the sort of neoliberal cultural hellscape that we all sort of inhabit right now could just up and, and produce the kind of, it's just, it's a trauma response, Ben, that's what it is. And, and trust me, I've been through it and I know you have, I've been through yeah. it personally, you know, through losses of people that are close to me and just sort of politically and the COVID stuff. And, and, and I'm sure they have too. And, and they're handling it by spouting sort of uh, a yeah, mystical uh, wannabe totally. nonsense on, on Twitter. Uh, I, I handled it by uh, buying a, a new guitar and uh, listening to a lot of Hendrix. Uh, well, we all, we, a, you know, you, you drink a lot of scotch. I do as well. Uh, we all have our coping mechanisms, but uh, but that's but that's what it is. This is a this is a trauma response to the sudden disintegration of what seemed to be one of the most hopeful leftist upsurges in 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 over a generation. And I get it, I do get it, uh, but it's fucking nonsense. But like, but like, buy a guitar, drink some scotch. These are such healthy yeah. responses. Like, healthy cause... responses. Hey, get Become your a life cop. together. <laughs> go to <laughs> go to a sex party. Bring your wife. Become an alcoholic. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's the uh, literally so, so be, anything. Else. Be, before we go back to Adam's views about cuckery, uh, let's uh, let's just uh, let's just ladies. Say, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, it just it's just amazing, right? Because this is a guy who, <laughs> and, and I get it. Um, I get it. Right. Cause you're right. I mean, I like psychologically, I get it, right. That this is that the appeal of, Bert, of Jimmy Dore, I think more than anything is that, you know, he, I mean, is very unlike me in that like most of the time, even when I am mad, I don't seem very mad. Right. You know, Jimmy Dore seems mad like 24 seven and that appeals to some people. A lot of people even, right? Because like they that's feel that, that's that political style. That's that political style that I opened the whole show with that I've become so incredibly disenchanted with it. Even some of the better uh, sort of uh, proponents of our ideas sort of uh, uh, delivers these days. It's just sort of a sort of constant uh, uh, outrage that yeah, I think is just and, sort of and look, a as concentration a of, of all of our angst and who among whom among us is an angsty right now. But what are we doing and why? I, yeah. I, and, and look, I mean, as a matter of personality, I, I sort of don't trust people who seem super duper angry constantly because i think well i mean really like like it, it is it just constant or like is this a little bit of a performance that's my bias yeah, but right. um yeah. but like whatever i get it like i get why a lot of people respond to that because they're angry and they're angry often for very good reasons right that it's not like they're angry arbitrarily right i mean there are lots of things the fact that we don't the fact that you have to pay for health care in this country that you know you can lose your health insurance because you piss off your boss is is obscene you should be angry about it but the f idea that the person who's done more than anybody else to bring that medicare for all like the idea to public attention the you know the reason why again jimmy Dore even knows what that phrase is like I, that that is in his vocabulary at all the guy who just lives breathes this well if your explanation for why we don't have it, that that guy doesn't really care enough, that if he really cared, right? Like if he really felt what I feel, then he would have like somehow tricked a Senate that's composed in its overwhelming majority of people who are opposed to Medicare for all into voting for Medicare for all. You know, I think that you maybe need a better theory of power. And uh, before uh, before we get any more discourses on cuckery, I think we're going to leave it there. Um...
You have been watching free public content from Give Them an Argument to access every single episode of the show, the main show on uh, Monday nights, all of the streams, all of the uh, debate breakdowns, all of the patron exclusive post games on Monday nights, all of the patron exclusive bonus episodes every week, and much, much more. Go to patreon.com slash Ben Burgess. I cannot resist ending this with, don't be foolish. <laughs>